What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a One Piece character, Shanks. I did Shanks a long time ago and it was just kind of a portrait of him. Uh, and it was okay. It was, um, I thought I'd do another one. Um, so this is a portrait as well, but it's, I'm on a landscape page this time so I can fit in more. Uh, more of his collar and his shoulders. And I got kind of a cool look on his face, I think. Hopefully. So, uh, let's go. Center point of my page is approximately here. And his eyes are kind of along the middle, right? So center point here, we just come over to the right. And we do his top eyelid. So it goes diagonal up. And then across. Right, and then bottom eyelid goes down across here, like so. Iris and pupil, half circle, just in under here, and then his pupil in the middle. So then his eyebrow sort of comes along, he's like sort of frowning kind of heavily, right? So his eyebrow kind of just comes along that area just there. A tick and then like an eyelid line just comes across the top like so. If you want, you can thicken up the uh, eyelid lines a little bit if you want, but not common in, in one piece for some reason. They don't really do it, but we'll do it. So then his other eye, same sort of thing, right? So you'll go up, over the top. Like so, and then we bring it down the back and around to here. Iris and pupil, half circle here, pupil in the middle. And then, frowning eyebrow, big tick, goes diagonal that way, eyelid line there, and maybe there. And maybe you can add a bit of weight just to the eyelid. So then we got like some Eyebrow lines, nose lines, sort of wrinkles and stuff inside here. A sort of frown line going that way, maybe something going that way. And some coming down beside his eye, sort of there. So Shanks has these scars that come around his eyes, so we might as well draw those. This bumpy sort of line that comes up to a sharp point just there. And then this will go down, bump around. And we do three more, two more, sorry, of those. Like so, and then coming down from his bottom eyelid as well. Like so. Nose, so we have a long sort of line that comes down here over to the left hand side. Kind of sticks out a little bit here on the bottom. And then we have like the tip of his nose drawn in and then the nostrils underneath like here. So maybe another line just there on the side of his nose as well. And his mouth, so a downturn, sort of serious mouth, right? So it comes across, and then across to here. Bottom lip underneath, comes across like so.
sometimes he can have these sort of dimples on the edge of his mouth. And then his chin, square chin, strong male character. So, you know, they're usually designed with these sort of strong square sort of chins, right? So we're not really in like perfect proportion. You see like this, his head is maybe tilted forward a little bit. So this area is bigger than this area. Normally the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin, but here we're not. See, it goes beyond the chin. So like nose to chin will bring it to like, maybe like the bottom of his eye. So like here, the bottom eyelid to his nose is about the same as nose to chin. So here to here, the nose, the nostrils is halfway. Okay, roughly. Here to here, about the same as here to here. It's cause we have a head tilt in the pose. So we got like perspective. So when things come closer to your face, to your eye, to your face, um, they get bigger, right? And what recedes, like the, the, the head tilts forward, so the chin is going back, so this area looks smaller. Um, that's why this area is bigger than this area. Normally, they'd be the same if the head was just normal. So that's some perspective for you anyway, for those interested. And then you, if you get that, you can go the jaw up here, and then the jaw goes this way. And this will eventually hit hair somewhere here. So we can't really see. We'll draw it in, but we'll draw the jaw going around maybe, just up towards his ear. But eventually it'll disappear. And he has, he's a bit of a mustache and beard, right? And it's just sort of drawn in with these sorts of hairlines. that right and the mustache comes around like so right like that so then he's got this big fringe that comes down goes over some of that jaw and his ears and stuff like that right so it's up here, so we've got this V, right? So you want to go up about the, say the size of his face again. So eyebrows here to here is about the same as here to maybe his bottom lip or his chin. So like eyes to that V will bring you down nearly to his chin. It's close, right? So it's just, you got the sort of eyebrow area is about halfway down. Like the eye forehead's quite big right it's about that again so then hairline coming across spiking across like that and then he has his fringe so it'll come out from like the middle and go around right and come down and this will eventually like go across his eye so you might have to erase some lines but you should be using a pencil so you can erase it easily So, right, down to his jaw. And then the other one. To there. Like so. There's like a small strand of hair that comes down across his eye this way, like a long one. It's real thin. Like that. And there's all like hair texture. Like so. And more hair then and his ears and stuff so like it's like this is like a strand of hair here and then comes down beside his eye this way and then another one 
in here. No, sticks out here. Goes up. Texture and stuff in here. And there's like another hair spike here on his jaw. And then over this side, one comes underneath this one. Back up. So, and then we can see his ears, right? So, ear here. Cars around the other ones in there somewhere. We'll draw this one first. And like so. And then here. got sort of bones and ligaments and things inside there. Cartilage, if I keep saying bones and ligaments. Someone in the comments pointed out it's not bones and ligaments, it's cartilage. And they're right. Right, like that. Okay, so more hair then. So we'll go out from the ear here. He has some that goes like on his neck, just here, like some of these spikes, like that. These sorts of texture lines and stuff. In here, and then this spikes out. of his head has all these sorts of bumping lines on him. And he seems to have like one strand of hair that sticks up here in the middle. So like say you've got this fringe sort of area here and then we got a spike that comes up from the center. There and then like all this texture comes out from there. And then the hair on the other side sort of bumps down this way. And some spikes sticking out here. Yeah, and this these have all texture lines going in this way as well. Like that, so that's his hair. Pretty tricky, I know. But that's it. All right, so. Neck muscle line coming down from his jaw. Just there. And then the back of it, it's like here. So it's kind of like his head is on a swivel, sort of. So neck muscle there. And like the center line for his body will go that way. So he's kind of turned his head looking towards us. And then. Another neck muscle line here, going down towards his collarbones and like center line for his chest. It's it's off center, like here. There might be like another, like his clavicle or something there. Adam's apple line that way, 
with a bit of a shadow underneath his chin. And then his collarbones will go, one goes this way. So this is like the center line for his body. And then the other one goes that way. So he's a big collar that kind of comes out around his head. So the inside line for that comes down there on that side. And the inside line just here on this side. We're not the same on both sides, right? So the collar comes around there, trapezius in there. And then big collar comes down this way. So hopefully you can see it a bit more clearly now what what we're drawing. And that comes down there, and then his shoulder goes off here. And some like folding lines. The collar will come out the back of his head. Like that, kind of like a big Dracula collar. this and then this comes around down to there and shoulder goes off that way maybe like fold lines going that way some hatching just underneath his collarbones so it's like it's an awkward sort of pose but it's good to learn how to draw sort of not just straightforward poses I think I know they're the easier ones to draw people like doing those especially beginners but you know, it shows the head is kind of tilted a bit, shoulders tilted up, you know, a bit of a different sort of thing. So I hope it was helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, see you in the next one. Bye.